Hello everyone, this is King Kunao T. This video I will show you our new designed product that is A8S Bird. The A8S Bird is based on the A8 Bird. We have uh, development for some new functions of this Bird. And the most important, uh, this Bird is based on the ESP32 module. And we have added the GSM module. So this time you can use your SIM card, uh, use your mobile phone SIM card and uh, use GPS communication and uh, send a short message uh, to your mobile phone uh, such that you can send a message and turn on relay and send a message turn off the relay and without install any application on your mobile phone just send the short message so this will be convenient to use just send message and also we have added the menu country button uh, this button you can use on the PCB board and country every relay output uh, for on and off just press this but easy to for you to development and for testing the relay and testing some functions and this time we have added the LD indicate uh, for this menu country but uh, when you press the button the LD will be on and the release the button the LD will be off so that will be easy for testing and also at this time uh, we have added the speak uh, so that you can use some alarm function uh, so that the speak uh, work and not work and uh, and the another important we have added a rgbwld indicate on the board so that you can use this board in different color with the ld indicate because it's rgbw so you can use any color of the ld indicate just according to your code and according to your setting and this board also supports the Wi-Fi and the Ethernet and supported by the ESP home so you, you will very easy to integrate to home assistant and by the ESP home and ESP home we have choose the same 800 GSM module also supported by the ESP home so it's very easy to send a short message and make out a voice call so this is mainly improvement of the A8S board Okay, let's look at the PCB board hardware detail design. Okay, let's look at the A8S board. You can see here the A8S board. Let's look at the hardware design details. And this is the side, and this is the back. This is the back of PCB, and this is in front. And this is the ESP32 module, and this also have the Ethernet part. And this is for function you can define by yourself, uh, defined by ESP home or defined by Arduino IDE code. And this is reset button. And this is the Type C, the USB Type C interface. And this is LD. This is RGB LD that can change any color just according to a setting or according to your program. And you can make some functions like some along information that will turn red or some running that can turn green or some other color just according to your setting and here you can see have four channel analog input uh, 0 to 5 voltage and 4 to 20 milliampere and this is the GPIO for you to use and here is ground and this is IS485 that I think you can use by the mode bus. Uh, the blue is RS485. And here is digital input 1 to digital input 6. That is from 1 to 6. Also, you can see here is a button that is 1, 2, 3, 4 until 6. So that you can use menu country button for testing your code or testing your project. And here is LED indicate. The LED indicate. When you press this button will be on and remove the hand will be off so it's designed by the hardware and not according to the software just for on and off you can easy to detect uh, the switch or your sensor have connected to this terminal you can see whether it's triggered or not triggered and this is ground and this orange is 12 watt power supply and here you can see uh, this is a power circuit and here is the I2C interface that is external I2C because here is some chips for I2C for the 
I/O extend for this eight channel relay. Every relay you can see have calm and normal open and normal close. So there are eight channel, and this is for the LED indicate for relay output LED on and off indicate. And also you can see has five to eight LED indicate uh, for relay, and this is speak that can speak voice. And here you can see here is the force three three megahertz receive module. So you can see here is the force three three megahertz receive module. So you can install this module on this socket. So that you can remote country your relay output. And here you can see the socket is for GSM module. The every pin defined. That default is for SIM 800L. The GSM module you can see. Uh, this we have used this GSM module, and here you can see every pin defined and the watch function you have used on this module, and every pin. That is the same 800 module. So if you can use this module, you just insert this module on this socket. Here you can see, and before you use the SIM card, you just insert this socket. Uh, for your mobile phone SIM card and plug in and this time you can use the GPS or SMS function but this is for 2G uh, 2G SIM card if your country or your city not have 2G so that you can use another option so you can see here is the 4G or 3G SIM card use this SIM uh, use this module that is SIM uh, 7600 modules. That this module support used by 4G or 3G SIM card. So you can see here the pin defined. So you just need to use the VCC and the ground, ground and the XT and the TXT. These four lines connect with this module. So that will be easy to use the 3G or 4G SIM card. If you don't want to use this 2G module, you just remove this uh, front socket and you can use this one. But this one, uh, this is the pin, and we can use this adapt. We have designed this board uh, that can use for same 7000 module. And you can see here, I can install this one. I just connect like this and also I can connect to this socket so that the module uh, can be used for 3G or 4G SIM card so you just need to connect with this GPS antenna if you use the GPS or use this GSM antenna so that is the GM, GSM stick antenna so you can see I can Connect with this antenna at here, and this is GPS. I can install uh, these two antenna, and the SIM card. You can see I can open it, and this is small SIM card from my mobile phone, and I can just place on it and close so that. Uh, will we have a good contact and uh, at last you just can press plug in okay you can see here is a dropped a dropped for 3G module 4G module just the convert so this is GSM module uh, you can choose uh, which one uh, this is cheap and this will be expensive and just according to you if you only use for 2G you can choose this one if you must use uh, 4G or 3G uh, you can choose this one and you can see this is antenna we can use this antenna when on this pin also you can use IPX cable uh, just like this connect with this way and this socket this module have support the GSM communication and support the GPS. You can see here is the GPS, uh, so that can give you information about your position. 
So if you use this module, uh, you can use this antenna. Uh, that is one kind of GPS antenna. And this is for GSM antenna. So this is stick to a box. So this is the antenna. You can connect this at uh, this socket. And uh, this one connect to this GPS socket. So the, that you can use the GPS function from this module. So this is the hardware details design of the A8S board. Okay, thanks for watching.